Good morning, Team D. How are you? I'm up. Everybody's out of my house, gone to school, and I am going to have my, well, I've already had my lemon water, and I'm going to make my smoothie, and I decided, why not make it with you guys? Very easy. It won't take a lot of time. Um, I want to talk about my morning routine and kind of get a feel for what your morning routines are like because eating right is the key to our success as far as this lifestyle goes. And if we're not getting enough calories in throughout the entire day and eating all day long, all the working out we're going to be doing won't benefit us at all. So every morning I drink a glass of water with lemon. Here's my lemon slice. Just cut it in half. I just use very old-fashioned lemon squeezer. I pour it into my glass. Yummy. And I usually use just a half a lemon. Sometimes I'll use a whole lemon if they're really small. Um, I use filtered water, and you can use distilled water um, if you like. You should, actually. And then drink. Cheers. Like I said, I already had my glass this morning. You have not eaten all night long. You slept. I hope you didn't eat all night long. <laughs> I hope you didn't get up and have a snack or anything around midnight, 1 or 2 in the morning. Once you finish your snack around 8, between 8 and 10 p.m., you don't need to eat. And the body doesn't um, absorb calories as quickly after about 3 p.m. because it's storing up and preparing you to get through the evening and sleep well through the night. So you were fasting. Your body wasn't eating, taking in anything. And the first thing you should put into your mouth is water, lemon water. I also have a drink. Um, called kombucha. I'll share that with you. Or if you have vinegar, apple cider vinegar, hold on. I'm walking away because I'm going to show you my apple cider vinegar. Um, apple cider vinegar, can you see that? There you go. You can put uh, a couple of tablespoons of that into a cup of water, drink it, just shh, take it like a shot. <laughs> Not that any of us have ever done that. Okay, now I'm going to make a green smoothie with all green vegetables and fruits and I've just been on this kick for the past week. Um, greens are good for you and oftentimes we find we're not getting enough vegetables in and it's a great way to get your vegetables in and drinking a smoothie. These smoothies can be anywhere from 200 to 500 calories depending on what you put in it so it can ultimately be your morning meal just add a protein. Um, cucumbers. I cut up a cucumber into chunks See the chunks? Oh. Putting them in my blender. <clears throat> I got some pears the other day, so I'm going to cut up these pears. And the only thing I won't put in is the stem, but I'm putting in the seeds, the bottom of the pear, and everything. Now, <clears throat> for my birthday, it was a while ago, my mom and sister, um, <clears throat> my family, chipped in and got us a vitamin. Ah, I love my Vitamix blender. Costs a whole big, huge chunk of change, but it's worth it because <clears throat> you can blend anything. I mean, it'll decimate anything you put in there. So I cut up these chunks fairly large. If you have just a regular blender, you can use, you know, smaller chunks. And I've had regular blenders, and I've burned out of about five of them. I hope that glare doesn't bother you guys. So two pairs. The cucumber, if you notice, it was a half of a medium cucumber. And then when you buy salad greens, um, I buy the organic mixed salad greens. They come in a huge tub, and it's usually about $3, between $3 and $5 for the whole tub. <clears throat> they look like that. Um, I use that for my greens. Not all the time. I'll use spinach, I'll use kale, I'll use Swiss chard. Two huge handfuls of spinach. <clears throat> My throat is a little itchy. You guys have got to excuse me. So, there is my blender cup. Cucumber in the bottom, pear in the middle, salad mixed spring greens on top, organic. They've already been cleaned. My son didn't drink all of his almond milk this morning. I get my almond milk from Trader Joe's. Not a commercial for them. You decide where you need to get it. I just found it cheaper there, and I'm always looking for a better deal. It's unsweetened almond milk. I'm just going to use about a cup. It looks like a little more than eight ounces. 
and I am good to go. It's going to get loud in a second, ladies. Now, if you notice, it just took about 30 seconds to blend all of those ingredients. And you don't want to blend your ingredients any longer than that because once you break down the greens and the vegetables and you expose them to oxygen, um, they begin to break down and they become, you know, more sugary. You notice like when you cut an apple, the apple turns brown and it's starting to oxidize and it's creating more sugars. So you want to blend it for 30 seconds or less and that's the benefit of having a high power blender. It mixes your food fairly quickly. Now I think this is going to be sweet enough for me because I don't need a lot of sweetness. I'm going to add in some chia seeds. That's how you spell it. And they're little brown, oh, I don't know brown, yeah brownish blackish granules. And they have lots of protein. Two tablespoons have about um, three grams of protein. And, I'm sorry, one tablespoon has three grams of protein, so two tablespoons gives you six grams of protein. And you remember what I was talking about um, yesterday on the timeline, you need your protein, um, especially since we're working out more. We need a good mix of carbs to protein. Um, Tamisha asked a great question about what to eat for a post, um, trying to fiddle with this bag, a post-workout snack. A 4 to 1 ratio of carbs to protein is a good um, good barometer to use when trying to determine what to eat. You might say, how the heck do I know the 4 to 1 ratio of carbs to protein? Look on the back of the packages that you're using and you'll see there the grams of protein. So if you have 4 grams of protein in that power bar or protein bar or whatever you're eating, you want to see that if you have... Um, I mean, four grams of carbs, you have one gram of protein. So if you have 16 grams of carbs, then you want to have four grams of protein. I just sprinkle a little bit of these in. You don't want to put too much. And if you have a sweet tooth or you haven't really acclimated to eating a lot of fresh fruits and greens and you just need it to be sweeter, Stevia is really, really good, a liquid stevia. Um, Truvia is the brand that makes the granulated stevia. It's more processed because stevia is actually a, a, a plant, and you can buy it at Home Depot, plant it in your garden. It's very bitter, um, but super, super sweet at the same time. You just need a small amount. So you can add, like, just a dropper. Um, you don't really need a lot at all. Like, that's half a dropper, and that might be too much. I would put, like two drops in here to sweeten it up. This is my morning routine. Oh, that looks good. And after this, I'm going to actually have mine with a boiled egg. I boiled some eggs and it's 8.42. I started at 8.33, so I, in 10 minutes, we got this knocked out. I have some leftover. I can put it in a glass um, jar with a tight lid. Well, this jar is small. I just have you guys all up in my kitchen. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> um, you know the ball jars with the tops on them like for preservatives? Or just an airtight container. And you can make your smoothies in the morning. Maybe make enough to have two. You could take it to work and you can have another one for lunch with your meal. Or you can save it and drink it after work for your snack. Or have it as your post-workout um, drink. Um, just keep it airtight because remember what I told you about the oxidization. Oxidation. Did I say that right? Hmm. You all have a good morning. Guess what? This is my outfit. That's my workout shirt. I think if you stay home, if you work from home, you have the day off, throw on your workout gear. Don't do your hair. Be ready to work out and just knock it out. Um, so after this, I'm going to go um, on the other side of my house <laughs> and do our workout. Our, uh, Cardio Core Workout number two.